Algebra 1, number 3.3b, we're talking about the addition and multiplication properties of equality and using them together. So, we're going to talk about collecting and combining like terms using these properties together. So to solve some equations, first we may need to collect like terms and then use the addition and multiplication properties of equality together. For equations such as 5a plus 2a equals 21, we need to combine the like terms that have an a as a variable into one term. It would be 7a equals 21. Now, all we have to do is multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the coefficient. And remember, the coefficient is the number in front of the variable, okay? So his, co so his reciprocal would be his upside-down version, okay? And a 7 would, could be written as 7 over 1, so its reciprocal would be 1 7th, okay? I'm going to multiply both sides by that 1 7th. And on this side, we get 7 over 7a, and on this side, we get 21 over 7, and that equals 3. And if you saw the last video, and there'll be a link in this description to all of these videos, the previous ones and other ones that can help you, if you saw the last video, you saw that we can also skip some steps and just use division. Instead of using the reciprocal, we can just divide both sides by the coefficient, the 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so we get an a, because our friend the invisible 1 is there, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. And it goes a lot quicker, and that's when we know what we're doing, okay, so that we just skip some steps. So if we need to solve negative 2a, the inverse of 2a plus 3 plus 6a equals 5, we can put a circle or a square around the like terms to help us see them. I talked about that once before, and if there's a lot of terms that are different, like a, b, and c, you can make the a a circle, the b a square, and the c a triangle, and it'll help you see them to combine them, okay? So we can regroup this equation as the inverse of 2a plus 6a and put these two guys together, because they're like terms, and then put the plus 3 out here. The commutative property says that we can change their order, and the associative property says that we can group them like this, right, if we need to. So now, this minus 2a plus 6a gets it out of the negative above the 0 to 4a. See, it raised it on the number line up to a 4a. And we're going to add this 3, so now what we can do is create a zero pair with the addition property of equality. And by putting, by adding a negative 3 to both sides of the equation, we create a zero here. Plus 3 minus 3 is zero. And 5 minus 3 is 2. Now we have 4a equals 2, because we don't need to write that zero, do we? 4a equals 2. What we're going to do is use the multiplication property of equality and 4 can be written as a 4 over 1, so its inverse is 1 fourth when we flip around the numerator and denominator, right? Now we've got 1 times 4 over 4 times 1. That's 4 over 4. That's the multiplicative identity property, our friend the invisible 1, that doesn't need to be written, right? Because the numerator and denominator is the same. On this side, we get 2 times 1 over 4, 1 times 4. That's 2 fourths, and when we simplify it, we get a half. So now we know our ans answer for A a's value is a half. Now, if you also remember, we can use division if we know what we're doing. So if we're at this part where we have 4a equals 2, we don't necessarily need to multiply it by the reciprocal. If we really know what we're doing, we can just divide both sides by the coefficient 4 instead of the reciprocal of 4. Okay? And 4 divided by 4 gives us our friend the invisible 1, and 2 divided by 4 simplifies to 1 half. See? So because division and multiplication are the opposite operations, the inverse operations of each other, we could use division here instead of multiplication and a reciprocal. See? Skip some steps and go some, a little bit faster. Just make sure you know what you're doing before you do this, okay? And if we need to solve 2x plus 3x minus 5x plus 4x plus 2x equals 24, we can see right here that we've got a zero pair. This 2x plus 3x is 5x, isn't it? Now we have a minus 5x. Well, plus 5x minus 5x, these two create a zero pair together, these two circles. See? 
So that's 0. Then we've got a 4x plus 2x, that's 6x. So all we have is 6x equals 24. We combine like terms, and we have to remember to combine their sign. Their sign goes with them, okay? It's not just the 5x. It's a negative 5x. It's an inverse of 5x, okay? So now we've got 6x equals 24, and we can multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal of 6. So because 6 can be written as 6 over 1, its reciprocal is 1 6. Okay, you just flip around the numerator and denominator. See, two's on top, one's on bottom. Two's on bottom, one's on top. That's the reciprocal. And we multiply both sides, and we get one times six is six, over six times one is six. Same numerator and denominator, so that's a one. That's our buddy, the invisible one. 24 times one is 24, over one times six is six. We got 24 over six. We simplify that. Six times four is 24, so we know it's a four. And we can also divide to skip the step of the reciprocals and go quicker and just divide both sides by that coefficient. 6 divided by 6 is our friend, the invisible 1. 24 divided by 6 is 4. And our answer is 4, just like it is here. Okay. So just remember to collect, combine any like terms first and include their sign with them. And remember to simplify at the end. If you just finish this and say the a is equal to 2 fourths, it could be marked wrong, okay? And if you're taking a test and you fill in the bubble for 2 fourths instead of 1 half, the grading machine that your testing paper goes through that reads those little pencil circle bubbles is going to say you got it wrong, see? So be very, very careful, all right? We're going to talk about using the addition and multiplication property of equality together when there's parentheses in the equation, okay? Sorry about that glare on my board there in the corner. So I hope I'll see you there. Keep trying. We're going to get through this together. Bye.